No, 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 absolutely not. I look ridiculous. Hang on, hang on. Ho! Oh, yes! So there are a couple of reasons for this video. Number one, I don't really have much time at the moment. Obviously, I'm, I'm an elf. It's December. Number two, I've noticed over recent years that lots of people at Christmas end up getting presents for people that they don't particularly want to have to buy presents for. And sometimes those people that they're buying presents for like photography. And I always get questions saying, what should I buy this person? I don't really want to spend all that much money. Which is tricky, really, because a lot of photography stuff is quite expensive. So, I've come up with a few solutions. Which, to be honest, I'm not 100% confident about. Now, this right here, is the bit of kit that I get asked about the most. Not any cameras, not any tripods, nothing like that. This. Not the flash. What's on top of the flash? This tiny little softbox. And it's very useful. Considering its size, it diffuses like wonderfully. And people always ask me who makes it. Polaroid. Trouble is, it's eight pounds last time I checked. Which is a lot of money to spend if you don't want to spend it in the first place. So what I've found is that you can very cheaply and easily replicate that softbox with stuff that lives in the kitchen. Namely, some tin foil and some baking paper. So you just put the tin foil around like so, and then take a bit of baking paper, and then sort of just shove that in. And Bob's your uncle. That is a wonderful diffuser. Any photographer worth his or her salt has one of these. It's a, a little pouch to keep SD cards in or other types of cards. You normally have a lot of cards, it's important to keep them nice and safe. Trouble is, this again costs like four or five pounds, seven or eight dollars, too much. So what I like to do is, this is an ice cube bag. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, James, surely you've had to cut holes in that to get the memory cards in, and yes, Yes, I have. And you're probably thinking, well, surely the cards just fall out all the time then? No. No, they don't. They only fall out some of the time. So, exceeds expectations. Number three is uh, lens hoods. I've done a video in the past about lens hoods, about how useful and important they are and can be. Trouble is, a lot of lenses get shipped without hoods and you have to buy third party ones or you have to buy the official ones for way too much money. But even the third party cheap plastic ones are, you know, pounds or dollars. So what I do is make them out of cardboard and tape. And as you can see, it's quite solid. That's not going anywhere, except backwards quite quickly. Uh, but other than that, perfect. I mean, you can see it. Through the uh, through the lens. I mean, you could you could maybe push that back a bit. No, you can still see it. This is an egg timer from IKEA. If you've been watching my videos from the very start, you'll know I use this extensively in New Zealand for time lapses because I've super glued a little. Can't remember what this is called. Thing up here to attach your camera or your phone and uh, well, it just, just spins around over a period of time while it's taking time lapses. Looks quite nice. Now sadly, this did cost me about 10 pounds, but that's a tiny amount of money compared to the purpose-built ones, or it was last year. They, they might have dropped in price. I, I haven't looked in a while. But I mean, even if they are the same price, you're better off making one because then it looks cheaper. I mean, the last thing you want to do for someone you don't like is give them the impression you've got them a really good present. So definitely get the homemade one. Uh, ooh, have you seen photography gloves. Basically, they've got like a hole in the index finger and the thumb so that you can press buttons easily in the cold. But I think the better solution is to have normal gloves on and then just before you press any buttons on your camera, just take it off and then press the buttons and then, and then put your glove back on. So, not just a hat rack. That's all the suggestions I have. Unless you want to talk about video, in which case, don't buy the person an expensive tailor-made dead cat for your microphone. Get a, uh, a furry sock, just pop that on. And it's probably just as effective without looking weird at all. As you can tell, I'm, I'm clutching at straws here. I mean, if you've got any of your own suggestions, do, do write in the comments. If you're new to this, the comments is, is probably where you're gonna find the useful, the useful stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
Uh, in light of me trying to do very quick videos at the moment, because I don't have much time, I thought that coming up soon I could do a QA, and a because I haven't done a QA and a in ages, and there are a few more people that watch these videos now. So, also in the comments, feel free to leave any questions you've got for me, preferably not about this. And I'll, I'll do a video answering them. Thanks for watching. Perfect.